What is up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and everybody else? It's been a minute, but today I have cut out some time for a dear old friend to try and help him learn how to ride his motorcycle. Alright ladies and gentlemen, we are finally here with your boy JD and your boy Riding High Hawaiian and we are helping our newly addressed friend and fellow old co-worker Will the Thrill Antonio learn how to ride. Stay tuned, we're going to go take a cruise and then we'll see what is up. Look at these fucking hooligans. <laughs> Alright. Well. So that didn't happen. I don't know who's... Well, anyways, to get started. Um, we were trying to help my friend who just got into biking. And I'm sorry if this clip seemed rushed. I had it going and I was coming down the mountain and... It had everything perfectly set and realized the cable wasn't hooked in, so... Anyways, here we go again. Let's try this. So, I was trying to help my friend last week. He was getting into biking. Got a bike, fixed it up. We were trying to get him out on the road a little bit. So he could get the feeling. Riding with the group. Go through some gears some feelings of the weight of the bike and stuff. But yeah, he had a, he had a couple difficulties, so anyways, uh, not difficulties with riding, but his, his ignition wasn't doing something right, and so we had to push start him a couple times, so that ended pretty quickly. We hope he gets it fixed so he can get out with the group. But anyways, I figured today I'm just going to go on a nice long ride and decompress from work, I had a long nine day work week, I'm over it, I just want to get out and kind of go and get away, so I figured I'd take you guys out with me, show you some spots where all the big bad bikers go to push themselves, and uh, yeah, I'll show you that when we get there, see how you guys enjoy the ride, alright. I just want to take a moment to again, you know, it's not as much anymore that I get to see views like this, so. You got Monica, over there's Waimea, and you have Kohala. I mean, it's just, I mean, when it's clear days, you know, there's not that many clouds. It's just such beautiful landscaping, and it's funny because we're going to end up going over that mountain later on. I'll talk to you guys about it again, but yeah. And you can even see Maui over the clouds. Well, hold on. Over there in the background. So it's just, that's how clear it is today. Not every day is like that, let alone every day you go out on the bike, so. Oops. All right, everybody. So, this is the stretch of road, which I guess the playground, or was the playground. We call it the playground, but I'm just going to cruise it because I'm irritated. But that's with home matters. So, anyways, this is where we, well, this is where the big bad bikers come to race up and down these hills. It's pretty intense. Especially when you try to go fast, you know, but you got the straightaway, but the hills are bumpy, pretty gnarly. And there's one mean turn up here that's really fun to go around once you get the hang of it. It still scares the shit out of me though. But yeah, got some elevation, it's nice and cool. Always. It's, it's actually really clear up here today, which is really nice. Woo! 
on the low over there. change the camera view on the way down for a little bit and then head over get a drink at my mail and then we'll head over to another spot if you guys are down oh man should stop and get some Montucky beer too might have to do that all right well I'll tell you folks something I just I can't win anywhere so I got up to the top where you saw me pull over, drank my monster, was chilling, and um, yeah, my bike decided not to start, which is really funny because I was just talking about it with my friend. So I'm pretty sure the batteries. Oh God, I'm on the line. I'm all, I'm all tired. It's, it's not easy up here at high elevation and got my size running up and down hills. I'll tell you that. So, I'm going to take it home. Sorry, guys. It's just, <laughs> you know, it's, it's, uh, it's just one of those things, man. It's hit or miss, but I guess it's time for a new battery. I'm not even messing with this one anymore. So, I'm going to go probably get one today and if I can find one and just install it. But, um... I got up there and my bike wouldn't start and then it would turn on but it wouldn't turn over and then it would just reset so luckily I just uh, just got done watching my friends my friend well your boy JD jump on that guy's other bike and push start it and that's what I did to get it going so I'm just heading home but <laughs> man yeah I really wanted to hit Kohala today but I'm not messing with this so um, Anyways, hold on. I'm going to pull over and see if I can at least put my gloves on. If this hopefully doesn't shut off. I'm trying to find a hill, too. But, uh, but yeah, it just, man, I really want a burger. I don't know. I was looking forward to Kohala Burger, but that ain't happening. I mean, I guess I could go if I don't ever shut my bike off, but I'm not trying to do that either. And it's crazy because... You would think, oh, you would think, um, those cute puppies, it, it would recharge and stuff because I was riding, but I think it's just completely gone, so, I don't know, I keep seeing an ad for AutoZone, maybe I'll take it in there and just be like, oh, can you check this, because I died <laughs> on the playground, and, eh, it's not really working, which I should have just pulled over, oh, they must be on lunch. <laughs> yeah, so luckily I, I got to see how that started this past weekend and you know fucking, I remembered I could do that. I was I was really tripping because I, I I just got done yelling about shit with my mom because she you know I just I don't know. I, I try to put stuff back where it belongs sometimes 
And the other day I put our car key back. Oh, this is probably good right here. Just don't, don't, don't shut off, please. Okay, keep running. All right, let me at least try to get my gloves. Okay. Oh God, the kickstand's right there. Fuck. Okay, don't lean forward. Okay. The camera is probably facing down the whole time too. Um, but yeah, so anyways, I got my gloves on. I'm not putting my arm on, which is really stupid, but I was on a downhill slope and just in case I had a jump started again. And I don't really want to, my toes were killing me. I almost fell forward just trying to put my backpack on, so. Anyways, I'm gonna be heading home. Look at that view though. We were supposed to go up over that mountain today, but shit happens but yeah I just uh it was like I just got done yelling at my mom or some shit but I get up there try to take a break and like I said I was trying to decompress today and just get away from everything and have a little me time but it's just one thing after another so I'm gonna go home and try and get this battery sorted out and I don't know, I gotta go to the dump anyway, so I'm sorry guys. Really just looking forward to getting the cruise in. I mean it's a good cruise. It still is a good cruise. It's just you know, I was thinking about going hundred miles today, not eighty, maybe hundred and fifty years old thing. Oh look at the little horsey! He used the whole tank of gas since gas it takes me eighteen dollars now to fill my bike up. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, you know who? Uh, you can't beat the view though. And yeah, I was trying to get it right into I'll tell you another reason why real quick. I know I keep rambling. Um, man, this month, this month, August coming up is going to be really, really a lot for me because I got a wedding to go to. I got my birthday. I possibly, I love this one. I love this one. I got summoned to be a juror, possibly on Oahu, the federal court. Why? I, I you know, I don't get it. I, I don't want to go to Oahu. Why the hell would I want to go to, why do my gloves keep coming undone? Why the hell would I want to go to Oahu? I mean, yeah, maybe to go to the bars and stuff and be an alcoholic, but other than that, no, I don't want to go sit in the courtroom. Anyways, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm rambling. But look at that view right there. That's why I come up here. That's why I'm lucky to live here. That's why we lucky we get to ride motorcycles. Anyways, you guys, I'll see you when I get closer to home. What the fuck, goat? You're not good, goat. Fuck you, goat. Oh, my God. Not that it was that serious, but that fucker went so casually across the road. I don't know if you guys caught the, the end of him going under, but he was just rolling across the road. Alright, anyways, if I'm shouting, I'm sorry, I have music playing. So for anybody riding, they quite possibly, or they're looking for a hazard that quite possibly could happen. This asshole has got cement stacked higher than the truck and it looks like it is going to fall and I am terrified and I can't see above the seal to go around this bucket. Now most of the time I would never endorse crossing over a double line but that shit, this, that shit scares the shit out of me. And I don't know why he's traveling like that. I don't give a shit how big your truck is. That is some sketchy shit. So, I can't see. Fuck. I hate that crap. Sorry, I'm cussing because I got one dude who was going slow when I got on this road. I overtook him and then he's going fast and coming up on me and I'm like, dude, but you weren't driving that fast. If you were driving that fast when I went around you, I wouldn't have went around you. Alright, uh, he did a 
know something on the other side of it. I thought it was sliding further back, but still, that stuff made me scared. Jeez.